Christ. Welcome to the 27th of January and the Friday of the third week in the ordinary time. The Christian faith is not a blind pursuit of feelings about some realities out there. It is a followership of a person, of Jesus, who is the real and true teacher of all things. The only one who is able to bring meaning to even the most difficult challenges we face in life. The Christian faith helps us to understand and to appreciate even persecutions and makes meaning of the deaths and sufferings undergone for doing what is right. In our first reading today, taken from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 32 to 39, the author admonishes his listeners to reflect on what they have gone through in the past for their faith and so take courage in the fact that only faith can see them through the present challenges. He says, recall the former days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For the early converts, many of them were denounced even by their families as traitors for following a new teaching and were handed over to those who persecuted them. Many lost their possessions, some were forced to run for safety, some were imprisoned and others went through torture, including death. But in all of their troubles, they were not broken. Just like St. Paul said of himself and the faithful, there was nothing that was allowed to separate them from the love of Christ. Confer Romans chapter 8, verse 31. The author here tries to refresh the memory of his listeners on what the struggle to keep the faith was when they first believed. Now, they must not allow anything to deny them of the joy of that faith. He called them to endure the present situation in order to take hold of the eternal promise. For yet a little while, and the coming one shall come, and shall not tarry, but my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Christian faith comes with a struggle. Getting to heaven does not come easy. But with faith and endurance, it may be difficult, but the end result is assured. In our gospel, taken from Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 34, we have the parables with which Jesus explained the kingdom of God to his disciples. He first teaches that the kingdom of God grows like seed scattered on the ground by the farmer who goes to sleep, not knowing how the seed germinates and bears fruit. Apart from the labor he had put in, which on its own cannot account for the successful harvest. In the second parable, Jesus compared the growth of the kingdom to the small mustard seed which grows to become a shrub where every kind of bird can nest. We are called to play our part like a farmer, knowing that the real growth of the kingdom is in the hands of God. Pick up your Bible for a word for today and read Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 for your reflection. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 says that my righteous one shall live by faith. Let us pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. May your will be done in our lives. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.